Hey everyone and welcome to Firefall. I'm still moving and I should get my internet done um, this Wednesday and I really hope for it because I will be moving all my computer stuff this Thursday. So wish me luck that everything works as planned and I don't have to spend some weeks without internet. But here are 6 things you should do before the update hits. Before I start this list I want to make sure that you all are aware that I created the list on the informations we have right now. It is possible that Red 5 changes parts of the new system so that some points probably won't work out like you're shown. First, collect modules. You will be able to salvage them and you will get module credits. For those module credits you will be able to buy the new modules from a vendor. And this will be the only option to get modules beside from drops and farming. Because there won't be any other module vendors and you also won't be able to craft them, even after crafting returned. So make sure you get a lot of module credits. Oh, and higher level and rarity of the modules will grant you more module credits per salvaged module. You will also be able to salvage equipment where modules are slotted in and it will also grant you module credits. So you don't have to pay the price for unslotting all the modules from your equipment. But the ability or weapon you are salvaging will be destroyed. So you get your module credits but you lose the item where they are slotted in. But in case you want to use your equipment with the actual module slotted into, you will be able to use them and the modules will keep their stats like they are right now. But the stats from your equipment will change, so probably your slotted modules won't affect the new stats from your equipment. But collecting modules is something you should really do as far as you have enough inventory space. Second, collect battle frame cores. Battle frame cores will be salvageable after the update and will grant some several new items, like chassis, reactor, operating system, arms and legs. So make sure you have several different high level battle frame cores to have a huge variety of new equipment parts you can choose from to get your favorite equipment set up. Third, resources and crafting. Crafting will be disabled for a longer time and will be completely reworked. So we don't even know if we will be able to use our resources after we got crafting back. So I really recommend to sell them on the market for credits. You will need a lot of them after the update. Or craft equipment you probably want to use after the update. You can also waste crystal and research points for researching stuff because we will get all the stuff back. That's right, all the crystals spent for crafting or I should better say for researching will be given back to us because of the crafting rework. And we will get a time bank, meaning all the time you spend for research will be saved on this time bank. And everything you are going to research or craft will take only 10 seconds and the remaining time will be taken from your time bank. That's super awesome for getting new stuff fast done after we got uh, crafting back. So make sure you put some crystal research points and some research time in your printer while you don't need it. Fourth, currency. As far as we know, crystal and credits won't change. But we will get some new ways to spend them like tinkering, also known as upgrading your equipment or combining modules to get higher ranked modules. So get as many credits and crystite as possible. And keep in mind you will get back all your crystite spent for research, so it's okay to not have so much crystite cash because of exchanging it to credits. Fifth, Accord Battle Frame XP Packs. With the new system we will also lose our 5 Accord Frames because the new system will be like, you start with one accord frame like it is now. Level it up to level 20 and then you will be able to switch to one advanced frame from the same arch type. So you start with an assault and then you can switch to fire cat or a tiger claw for example. This advanced frame will be level 20 and you keep on going leveling up to level 40. At level 40 you can keep on leveling elite ranks that will allow you to unlock more battle frames and other cool stuff. That's the reason why the Accord frames are getting removed. There is no space for level 40 Accord frames with the new system. But we will get some stuff for our lost Accord frames. As far as we know we will get XP pack. One XP pack 
for each Accord frame. There is a specific level you have to reach to get bigger XP packs. So there is one small for a lower level and a big pack for a higher level. But there are no informations about what level you have to reach. So I recommend to level them up to level 40. Because you will get pilot tokens at level 40. And those will also grant a specific amount of XP. For all the people who don't mind spending money can purchase the merge pack for 20 extra pilot tokens. But it's only possible to purchase this once. But all those XP packs can be used to level up your elite ranks for some cool unlocks and frame upgrades. Or you can save them uh, for a later update where we will get the level cap raised to 45 and about 6 to 8 weeks later we should get the next update with another rise to level 50. So you can skip leveling uh, for at least some frames by saving those XP packs and using them then after the level cap rise. Sixth. And at the end, a special information for all the awesome people who are watching my videos completely to the end. The Arsenal. The Arsenal will be the only advanced frame that is also getting removed, but only temporary. So it will come back, but there are no informations when this will happen. And I have no information what will happen to its perks. But what I do know is what we will get as compensation. At first, again, an XP pack. Again, two different ones for the level you reached. I recommend again level it up to level 40. Then we will get 200 red beans. Yeah, that's right, 200 red beans just for owning the arsenal. A six-seater resource holder truck in the arsenal war paint color. We'll keep the arsenal war paint. We will get an arsenal pet and a combat shotgun secondary weapon for the level your arsenal was when it got removed. So you own a level 21 arsenal, so you will get a level. 21 secondary combat shotgun and for a level 40 arsenal you will get a level 40 secondary weapon combat shotgun i probably forgot something um, but we'll get an official post um, about this so always have an eye on the official firefall website and that's it for this video i hope i could tell you something useful that might help you getting your stuff faster after the update and you might be able to hit the new raids and dungeon with a better equipment than the average people playing firefall I think I won't do another firewall tips video for the actual patch because we should get the update soon around December beginning January. I will probably make some more info videos about what will happen after the update. And as soon as we got the update I will make videos about everything. So stay tuned and subscribe to not miss any of my new videos. Have fun playing firewall. I see you in game. Bye.